Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. We always saying this, it's Tuesday, but happy Monday to me, I guess. Oh man, it is around nine o'clock and long time no see. So I just woke up. Um, we just got back from Atlanta late last night. So I went to bed really late and I actually didn't, I wasn't able to get up a blog post. So first things first this morning is doing that. Well, let's rewind. So I didn't film on Friday and I don't even think anybody noticed, which is great because it was nice to have, I guess I'm going to call it flexible Friday because it was nice to not film and not have to edit when I was around my family. We were in Atlanta for my nephew's first birthday. So my whole family. It was nice to not have to like worry about it. I don't even think anybody noticed, which was great. So I guess, you know, for future vlogs, you know, if Friday just doesn't work out in terms of vlogging, then I can just skip it because on Mondays we have the video cast with Ashby and I. Actually, I need to edit that today to go live tonight. So that's another thing. So today I think I'm gonna post about cleaning up my closet. So I just edited these photos last night. So I'm gonna do that. Just got a call that my Amazon Prime delivery is here. Andrew and I, like true millennials, ordered groceries via Amazon last night. So I'm just waiting for those to come in. Um, but I did open some packages last night and Pottery Barn sent me the sweetest wedding present. We thought we could help you build your home together with a set of our newest stemware collection by Home Guard. So thank you so much to Stephanie at Pottery Barn. And then I ordered the Beach Riot Pants and Medium. And I also got in these earrings that I'm excited to try on from Nicolo Bethy. Here they are. Cute, right? Be cute with my hair down, but you get the general idea. The entire weekend, I've been wearing my Mott and Bow jeans, and I actually really love them. I was wrong about the length. They're perfect. All right, so here it is. Let's see what... So we ordered everything from Whole Foods, so we could do a little unboxing of what we got together. We got oat honey and granola and cornflakes. This is our cereal. In this box bag, we got um, Amy's mac and cheese. This is our very favorite mac and cheese. It's so good. It's so easy to make too, obviously, because it's frozen. In this bag, we got sesame burger buns and tomatoes. Tomatoes. And then these are our fruits, some bananas, some mandarin oranges, and some avocados. Ta-da. Some salad stuff, some fruit. Oh, we're gonna make lettuce wraps. So we got carrots and lettuce turkey breast, and Swiss cheese for sandwiches. So that is officially our Whole Foods run. I made myself a little smoothie for breakfast. Vanilla protein powder, frozen berries, Greek yogurt, peanut butter, chia seeds, and a splash of almond milk. Not delicious, but not bad. All right, it is about 11.50. <sighs> and I just am not able to get a blog post up today. There's like a certain time limit, usually past like 11.30, that if my blog post isn't up, it's just better to skip it. A lot of my readers come in the morning and I just don't want to throw up like a mid-afternoon post and be like, hey, go check it out. I'm just gonna save it for tomorrow. I'm gonna start editing that video cast that Ashby and I did. It's supposed to go live tonight and start editing, you know, like the rest of these posts for a later date. Okay, it's one o'clock. I placed a Sephora order and a Saison order. Um, I saw Carly at the Draper James preview and I was obsessed with her shirt. So I decided to order it as well. So thanks Carly. Now I am just editing our podcast that's supposed to go live today. We have decided on our like logo, whatnot. So I'm updating last week's video cover image. So this is what it's gonna look like. We decided to go with Crash Course. Also, my skin is like freaking out. I'm starting to get some pimples underneath the surface and this and this and then my nose doesn't know what's going on. And there's this. Not good, not good. So I'll have to ice roll a little later today. Icing helps reduce the redness and inflammation. Um, it also helps freeze anything that is going on with your pores. This one, not good. I am in the middle of editing this video. It's very funny. Ashby is just the funniest. And I realized, so do you guys remember a while back we like edited those Instagram photos, me and like the windowsill 
next my bookcase and the other one of like that bow in my hair um, on the ground working on my finances well those are finally set to go live when I published one on Saturday it did really well so thank you guys but I have to publish the other one today and I don't want them to be back to back and I don't have an image because we didn't shoot this weekend of stuff to like a, a new Instagram post so I just wanted to go take this Instagram post with my new coat and my cute earrings. I'm just gonna post this and we're gonna call it a day. And while I'm editing this, I'm listening to Drink With James. He publishes like a podcast video cast once a week and I'm watching it. They're talking about the, the fire Festival documentary and like how that like is going to either impact or not impact influencers. Okay, it's three o'clock, still editing this video. Restarting my computer because I'm having storage issues again. Go figure. So today, I guess it's gonna be kind of boring. I'm not really doing anything, but to make it less boring, I will show you guys something um, that I did recently with my shoes. This is my shoe shelf. It's an Ikea, Pax Ikea bookshelf. So what I need to do is I actually need to clean out this area, but I got these from Amazon. They're called shoe something. So I'll leave a link down below. But basically all they are is this. And the way that they advertise it, you should put it in forward so you can see your shoe, which I totally get. But if I need to reach for the shoe, that means I need to pull the whole thing out, or versus here, I can just pull both of them. I really wanted them for my Chanel flats, but this doesn't really fit down here. Or maybe it does. Shoot, I need to buy more. <laughs> I think I tried it here first. Good example. These just don't fit, and so what we will do is I'll show you how to make them fit. Now see how much more room I have over here? So that's what I wanted to do with these, but now I guess I can just buy more shelves. So it definitely does help make more room, especially with flats, because they're so hard to stack next to each other. Let me see, this is what they're called, shoe slots. I saw it on Julia's Instagram. All right, so I actually just bought four more boxes. Now that I have this done, I want to do more and they won't come in until Wednesday, which is super annoying. But they do look so much better like this, saving a lot more room. I also need boot socks. Not boot socks, but I need those things that go into boots that make them stand up. Amazon seems like the place for this. For some reason, the eyeliner that I'm using, it's like Marc Jacobs. It stays on forever, but it also stays on past when I wipe it off. So I just wiped that off even more because I'm noticing in this camera that I'm like having much darker under eyes. It's still not coming off. So, sorry about that. But, okay, so I ordered, um, they're called boot trees. That's what I was looking for. So I ordered some of those to come in. And now I feel like we should just get rid of some shoes that I just don't wear anymore. I haven't worn these in a hot minute, so we can get rid of those. Okay, so what I'm actually doing right now is I'm stuffing my boots with extra t-shirts that I'm not using or wearing. So this is a good alternative if you don't want to spend your money on a boot tree, because they will stand up. Same thing with paper. So for my Stuart Weitzmans, they're just too tall to stand up. So what I do is I fold them on their first edge to make them normal height boots. I wish I had done this first because I wish I had almost hadn't ordered those boot trees because they stand up so well with that plastic. Obviously I need them for really tall ones, but it doesn't look so good. Not the plastic, the paper. So this looks so much better now than how I was originally, how I originally had them because they were like folded over and gross. So now my boots are all down here. I left the shelf for Andrew. I can move more things over here. Maybe I'll put my sneakers over here. And one day we will go through my Chanel uh, flats collection. One day soon, hopefully. Okay, wow. Look at that. It looks so much better, doesn't it? It's a lot more more organized and it'll look even better when the rest of these come in. Where I was getting that paper from is my mom actually went to TJ Maxx in Chicago and brought these to Atlanta for me. Um, we're gonna use these for the wedding. They're like hurricane glasses with wicker, wicker on the outside. It just says handcrafted in the Philippines. So, so we got um, a smaller one and a bigger one. So I need to clean my bedroom but I also need to edit that video. I have a workout class night at bar three. That's around six. I guess the most pressing thing is that video. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to editing that video. This is not gonna be exciting again. So sorry, but hopefully we can get this done soon. It is four o'clock and just got finished editing. I need to wash my face. I scratched off that white head. I shouldn't have done it, I know. So I'm liking my new hair, my haircut. 
I got a cut if you don't know. Looking at like old photos or even this video, my hair was just so long. So I'm one for the dramatic of just, it gets really long and I just cut it all off. I think tomorrow I'm gonna try curling it for the first time and see how that goes. It is very fun to play with so far. So fresh and so clean, clean. Um, I think I'm gonna start just getting through the stuff on the bed. Finally got the rest of the stuff off the floor and basically put everything else away, thankfully. Okay, just opening up this bubble bar box. So I don't know what is up with bubble bar lately, but a lot of their stuff has like been coming to me broken, which is, you know, like that sucks. But what is cool, so I thought that these earrings were broken because they don't have any like topper to them. They just like this little hook. But then I realized that the earrings that they come with, so it was like a little pack have like this hook on the back and so you can hook them on and now they're earrings and like these which are my favorite little earrings you can connect and you can like mix and match obviously so they originally sent this to my old apartment um, so I didn't get it until like last week and what I need to do is I need to find a better way to store all my jewelry especially my earrings just because I don't really have a good way of storing them you hear the broken pieces I also got this in from NARS yesterday. So this is a lip balm, SPF after balm, basically a chapstick, but in a really cool case. And I got this, which is the Fire Clay, um, I think like bronzer blush highlighter set. So that's pretty. All right, off to, off to bar three. It is like 5.20 and Uberpool said it would pick me up outside so there's no need to walk, which is awesome. Only four bucks. So I'm gonna go down there. I'm just realized, I'm realizing I haven't really eaten today because the Amazon order, while well, great, wasn't our normal like Monday pantry. Hey, $4 got me straight to bar three. This doesn't make sense sometimes. Sometimes I pick up 30 people and it takes like an hour to get anywhere. And this time it took 20 minutes to get down here. We didn't pick up a single person. So I'm gonna stop at the Quateria and pick up a little snack. So I didn't make it in the bar three class. I thought I was off the wait list, but I guess I wasn't. Um, and they told me to wait until 6.30. And I mean, I got there at 5.40 and it's 6.27. And I just like felt so anxious standing and waiting and like everybody else going in and me not being allowed to, I don't know. I, I just like get really weird sometimes and this was one of those times. And I just got like really sweaty and really anxious and I just feel like crying. <laughs> I'm like embarrassed. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I, um, even if I was gonna get in my mind, was just like totally fucked. <laughs> So I just decided to leave, which is really sad, and now I just feel like crying, so. I don't know what is wrong with me. Back home, at least my Uber dropped me off at the door, which is great. I'm eating mozzarella and tomatoes, by the way. Also before class, I got these from Le Quateria. Really good. I just need something cold. Something that can go bad. I'm wondering, I'm having tomatoes and mozzarella as a snack before dinner. All right, Andrew should be home any minute now. Um, I couldn't wait <laughs> any longer, so I also made some mac and cheese that I think we're also having for dinner, so good thing we bought more. And so many emails came in today, oh my gosh. So hopefully we can get through those, like so much. So I'm gonna start working on some of these. Tonight's dinner is chicken, couscous, and a veggie burger. And Andrew's eating the salad. All right, friends, it is 10 o'clock. I finished uploading for our podcast, so that is now live. I also answered like a ton of emails that are just like honed in. I know it's bad to answer email, bad to answer emails so late at night, but just gotta do what you gotta do. So now we're gonna probably finish up SNL, maybe watch an episode of you. Andrew doesn't really like the move, the show, so probably not, but we shall see. And I'm gonna sign off here. So I will see you guys tomorrow.